Well, all four of the guys were non-drafted out of high school. So it speaks to their work ethic. It speaks to, um, you know, what our staff has been able to do from our training staff to our strength conditioning staff to our coaching staff on player development. I mean, that's a big thing for us. Really proud of those guys. Uh, all of them had aspirations to play at the next level. They're all going to get the, the opportunity to do that. Uh, and again, we've got more guys in the program that we feel like have a chance to do the same thing as, as time moves on. And, and uh, you know, we've, we've been able to do some things recruiting-wise that, that have been positive you know, over the last year or so. Uh, that's going to continue moving forward. And then our player development uh, system that we have in place, and, and if kids come in here and they work and they, they put forth the effort, uh, they can achieve their goals. Well, he's got a very good awareness of where the barrel's at. Very gifted guy offensively. Uh, has made himself into a pretty darn good defensive player. Um, you know, and he works. I mean, he shows up and he gets his work done every day. Uh, the thing about Brett that's a little bit unique and what you see with a lot of guys that are elite level players, he doesn't like to look bad. <laughs> you know, that was the same way 33 years ago when I first started coaching, it's the same way now. If, if you don't like to look bad and you don't like to have bad days, you usually try to do everything you can to correct it the next day. So, uh, you know, just proud of him. Going from an undrafted guy to high school to being a third round pick, again, is a testament to his work ethic and, and also what Coach Robinson's been able to do with him, you know. Uh, I think Bo does a great job with our position players. Uh, Bo and I are on the same page every day. There's very few days where we're, where we're not, you know, aligned 100%. Uh, and it's just a, a, been a good working relationship with him and our position players. Well, uh, you got a big guy that's really downhill playing with his fastball. Um, and, you know, Coach Doty, our pitching coach, really helped Colton with his breaking ball. I mean, he's throwing, you know, 80, 81, 82, 83 mile hour sliders at times, you know, along with that, you know, low 90s fastball. It's got a real significant downhill plane. A guy that decided he wanted to be good. Um, you know, Coach Doty and I set Colton down at the beginning of the fall, and, you know, he kind of had a decent year the year before, and we just said, hey, do you want to be good? Um, and he made a decision that he wanted to get his work done, he wanted to get his core work done, he wanted to get his shoulder program work done, he wanted to get his work done in the weight room and get his body in, in, in the top shape that he could get it in and he gets rewarded for it against another guy that was not drafted out of high school that comes in and then three years later ends up being a top 10 round pick. TJ's a lot more athletic than people realize um, and you know he was a guy that played the infield, middle infield his whole life. Uh, he did play that as well for us early on in his playing career. He could do that at pro ball if they wanted him to. Uh, but he's also a, a guy that's developed into a really quality outfielder. He can play center field too. That's another thing that some of the pro guys ask me and ask Coach Robinson about. He can play center field too uh, if, if needed. Um, you know, a guy that had a really good freshman year and a really bad sophomore year, he'll tell you that. Uh, but he worked through it. You know, he's willing to go out and play in the summer leagues and go on and play in away from Charlotte and getting out and playing in those wood bat leagues. He's a guy that's been willing to listen and make adjustments. Again, a very competitive guy too, he, a lot like Netzer, he doesn't like to look bad. And, and when you have guys with that kind of mentality, they're willing to put the work in. Uh, you know, he got rewarded for it. He performed at a high level this year against a, you know elite level competition. He gets rewarded for it by being a ninth round pick. It's a little bit different for us. We, we got a little bit more physical this year than we've been for the last couple, two or three years. And, and we made a decision to move Zach into that leadoff spot, I think probably halfway through the season. And we were playing a little bit different style, but it worked. You know, we really went on a roll, and, and it was good for him. Zach is an extremely athletic guy. Another guy that was a non-drafted guy out of high school that, you know, four years later develops into a pro, uh, was willing to go out and play in the summertime. And this kind of sounds like the same, same theme over and over again, but just, you know, a guy that, that, that listened to what Coach Robinson was telling him, that, that put the work in, and I think everybody was excited to see him get an opportunity. Just one of our one of the best team leaders that we've ever had in this program. I mean, he really did a lot of things, you know, away from the field and, and on the field with other guys to help, to help not only himself, but help other guys in the program and help our program get better. Well, here's the deal. The deal is we play a great, in a great league, we play a great non-conference schedule. We've talked about that a million times. When you come into this program, if you perform, you're going to have a really good chance to get rewarded. That's the theme for, for everything. Um, and, and we're proud of that. You know, we're back to being nationally relevant again. You know, we need to try to do everything we can to stay there. We've been there in the past. We're back to being nationally relevant again. And I think that we have the ability to do that. We've got a good core of players that are coming back. We've got a good recruiting class coming in. Uh, we've got commitments that we're getting now for younger players that are, that are still in high school that we can't say who they are for NCAA reasons. But we are really moving in the right direction and, and just proud of our players for buying in. 
you know, I think our coaching staff does a good job of getting along with each other. We're all on the same page. Our players have bought into that. And again, when we see guys come in here and they follow the plan and they get rewarded and then our program gets rewarded, it's, it's good for everybody.